Hi, John Legadakis here of MakeMoneyOnlineWithJohn.com and what I will be showing you right now is how to set up your first Aweber campaign. Uh, when you uh, first uh, join Aweber you're going to see something like this when you log in. Now I believe, I, <coughs> excuse me, I believe they have a default campaign. So actually let's click on this link here, Create and Manage Lists. Alright, so we've got a default campaign that really hasn't been set up. Um, it's the same as sort of just like clicking on this button create new list so let's just click on this and we're going to set up a, a totally new campaign so yeah when you click on create new list you're going to see this so you want to give your list a name something that helps you to you know uh, identifies what this list is about so this particular list I'm creating is for a uh, opt is an opt-in for a free social traffic report so I'm going to call it social traffic and that might be taken yes it is um, yeah, it's taken so uh, let's do what can we do uh, about SOC traffic report. Oh, report. Okay. Alright, so that's available. We'll just call it that SOC traffic REPT uh, list name. Uh, and what I'll, I'll it's with a list description, again, it's, it helps you to, to know what the list is about. But uh, just a little handy tip here people read this list description when they when they go into the unsubscribe section you know when you when you've got the you've got each email you send out is there's an unsubscribe link and whenever people click on that they'll see what list they're signed up to and they'll see the list description so I, I like to put a message like like this uh, you are a valued subscriber of and this is for a friend so I'll just put Simon Hadfield. Uh, please do not unsubscribe. Okay, so that's what I like to put. So just um, you know, let people you know sort of encourage people to maybe not unsubscribe. Uh, okay, so we'll put uh, from the name. I'm going to put uh, here Simon Hadfield. This is. Uh, whenever you send out an email, this is what they're going to see. They'll see your name, uh, and then the email address is uh, what they can reply back to whenever you send a follow-up or broadcast email. So I'm going to put, and it's this says here it's good not to use free email accounts. Uh, I think it helps with a deliverability rate; gives you a higher probability that they'll receive your email versus it going into a spam folder. So I'm going to put uh, the domain of where this free report is. I'll just check that. Yep, that's it. And I'm going to leave the contact address. That's correct. Clean it up a little bit. Okay, so that part is done. Uh, just a, a, a quick tip here: um, physical addresses are fine, but I, I prefer to put like a PO box or something. If if you have one, it's good to use that. Just. Um, yeah, whatever your mailing address is, is best there. Alright, so notifications. This is where um, whenever someone opts into your list, whatever you put here, this is, you can add as many notification names and emails as you want. These are the people that will receive an email notification saying, hey, someone just subscribed, uh, someone just opted into your list. Okay, I'm going to leave it as it is. Uh, so I'll just change that to um, just change that, update it. Okay, and 
Alright, so I'm happy with that. Let's click on Save Changes. And you'll see the setup wizard down the bottom here. It updates as you complete a certain part of setting up your Aweber campaign. Alright, now we're going to put the company name. Uh, I'm just going to put my friend's name. And his website. Okay. And I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave out the email signature. You can upload your um your business logo or a picture of yourself. Again, this also appears when people are you know clicking on the unsubscribe link, they'll see all this information. Alright, you can also set up your campaign to automatically tweet or uh, put on your Facebook wall whatever you're mailing out to your list so you can connect with Twitter and Facebook uh, I like to keep that ticked include a web form and I'm not going to do anything with the snippet section here which is going to save those changes okay here now is your confirmation message this is where uh, when someone opts into your list they will get an uh, they'll straight away get an email from Aweber um, ask, just asking them to confirm that they have opted into the list and they can click on a special link um, from Aweber that, and this is called what they call a double opt-in so someone opts in you know they're giving you their email their name and email they'll get a confirmation before you can start sending them any follow-up messages or broadcast messages Aweber sends them a confirmation email saying hey have you have you opted in to this list they can then click on the link in this confirmation email that indicates to Aweber yes this person uh, that owns this email address has opted in to this list um, yeah, again that's called a double opt-in now we can um, and I like to so I'm just gonna leave the pre-approved subject in the intro section I'm gonna change that to so from let's put Simon Hadfield uh, and delete that okay that from Simon Hadfield full stop um, we the signature section I'm just going to put uh, thank you Simon Hadfield for the signature okay now it's asking me this second section is asking you do you want to turn on this confirmation email do you want people to have to do the double opt-in because you can turn it off and my, myself I prefer to turn it off so I just click on off there like I did and then yes yes I do want to turn it off and you see it's now it's changed so what this means now this list is single opt-in meaning when people opt in they're going to straight away get my follow-up email messages and and receive my broadcast messages that are that that are sent out via this list they don't need to they won't be getting that uh, email confirmation which message from Aweber so these are this is now a single opt-in list and the reason why I like to turn it off is because um, you know it's been proven by email marketers that you're gonna build your list uh, quicker if you've you, you cut out that extra step of having to have them confirm the, the opt-in and the only reason that people usually have that turned on is that they don't want to be accused of uh, being a spammer or something like that because with a double opt-in list the, p the person that um, a, a list builder can't be accused of just you know sending out emails to anyone because that person had to have confirmed that yes they wanted to uh, you know receive emails from that person uh, okay so that's that's a bit about single opt-in double opt-ins all right the success page this is if you're doing a um, if you're doing the double opt-in when people click on that confirmation email this is you can you can have a custom success page or you can just leave the default and we're, we're doing single opt-in so I'm just gonna leave that anyway and okay let's save those changes